Hey, hello, my name is Beth and this is Rad Art, a show where I pick someone out of pop culture who I think is wonderful. Tell you why I think they're wonderful. And then I draw them and I try a different technique just about every single time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But before that, I've got some announcements to make. Next week is VidCon. That's right, one week from today. Yep, that's soon. I'm gonna put all the Snarl stuff right here though. We've got a Snarl Q&A on Thursday the 22nd. It's at 9.30 a.m. in Hall. E. There's also a Snarl Creator Chat. It's on Saturday the 24th. 3.30 p.m. in room 205A. A bunch of us are gonna be there and I hope that you're there and that'll be a lot of fun for all of us to do. Ow, I'm wearing a crop top and I just slapped my belly. Now with that out of the way, let's get into this video and guys, we're doing a Wonder Woman. Uh-huh. I did her entirely in colored pencils. This is how she ended up looking and if you stick around, I'll tell you all about how that movie's been doing. It's good, it's been doing good. Wonder Woman, the number one lady in the superhero universe, arguably the most well-known female ass kicker that has ever come out of DC Comics, and the title character of a blockbuster movie that just released to knock out numbers. Let's talk about Diana Prince. There's 75 years of Wonder Woman material, so for the sake of length, I'm only gonna talk about the new movie and its impact upon release. And don't worry dudes, this is a spoiler-free drawing. Diana is the little darling daughter of Hippolyta, queen of the Amazons, and grows up secluded on the island of the Mascara. When a World War I British intelligence officer crash lands in the waters near the island, Diana rescues him and decides to go stop the war, a war which she believes is being caused by the god Ares' influence. She sets out to kill the god and end all fighting, but naturally war is not so simple as that. Guys, this movie is great. It's a superhero movie for sure, so expect a certain level of camp. But the impact this movie is having is not campy at all. It's funny, it's emotional, it's artful, there's some questionable CG sequences, but I've never made a movie, so who am I to judge? In the first 20 minutes, there are only women. Women with wrinkles, women built like men, women of every color. Wonder Woman herself is being played by Israeli actress Gal Gadot, and it's nice to see a pair of dark eyes in a lead role. Let's talk about the importance of representation. We've got a long way to go, and it's tiring that 75 years after her creation, it's not yet normal to see a character like Wonder Woman get to be front and center, but that's where we're at, so it's good to see a movie like this do well. In its opening weekend, the film grossed 100.5 million in ticket sales. Wonder Woman had the highest grossing opening weekend for a film directed by a woman ever. Now, it's an unfortunate truth that any person not in the cultural majority becomes a representative of their gender, race, or sexual representation. It's a leftover effect of our hunter-gatherer lizard brains, a time when our survival hinged on quick judgments of the other in order to keep the self safe. Now, it's our job as highly cultured creatures to fight against this judgmental impulse, and boy, it's an uphill battle. As someone in a minority, yes, I am a woman, there is a voice in my head warning me what not to wear and how to phrase my questions. Every time I park my car, it's the voice that says, do this right and prove that women are good drivers. Now that sucks, and it means that a movie starring a woman and directed by a woman has a lot more riding on it because the global cultural idea of woman has, for centuries, been that we're not capable of being as good as a man is. The ultimate goal of feminism is to just have this movie be another movie, and not a symbol of Lady Dump, but we're not there yet. We still have to reach that goal, so f it, let's celebrate this success. The action scenes are bomb. Gal Gadot is complex and strong. The Amazons in the opening, as they practice combat on horseback, made me cry. I'm tearing up right now thinking about it and why do I feel this way? Is it pride? Am I longing for a community of womanhood where we each hold each other up and celebrate our knowledge and bodies and artistic talents? In 2016, only seven of the 250 top domestic grossing films were directed by women. And the ways in which women are represented on stage change when women are telling stories. Also, the ways in which women are represented on stage has an impact on the way we see ourselves and each other. When 243 films in a year tell you that your value comes from being wanted by a man, of course we fight each other and strive to be more physically beautiful. But there are other stories out there that teach us to be Amazons with each other, and God, I want to work towards that. Now, it goes without saying that Wonder Woman isn't real, but she exists to show us what women can do, who women can be. There are real Wonder Women out there, more than a couple I've talked about on this very show, and it's them who the real credit goes to. The director, Patty Jenkins, is one of these women. Now, we still have a long way to go. I mean, when I saw this movie, I had to turn around and ask the boys behind me to stop talking about how hot Gal Gadot was, but it bolsters a fire in me when I see all the little girls donning their golden wrist cuffs and headbands, going out there and showing their pride and their power, because, in my opinion, that's the best thing this movie can do. And that's what it's doing. 
Like this video and subscribe to Snarled. If you like me, I also have a channel called Beth B. Rad, link in the description. I also have a gaming channel called Fresh Plays, link down in the description as well. While you're down there, leave me a comment in the comment section telling me who you want me to draw for the next Rad Art, and maybe I should do a YouTuber next week, right? Because we're gonna be at VidCon. Makes a lot of sense.